Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about the encryption algorithms. Encryption is the process of encoding the data in which the plain text converts into the cipher text and then we have to decode the data in which the cipher text will convert into the plain text which is the original data. Here we have used two encryption algorithms. First one is AES encryption and second is ZOR algorithm. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. AES encryption algorithm is very fast and secure. First you have to install the libraries. You can install it by pip install pi aes and pip install pbk df2. Pi aes is a pure python implementation of aes block cipher algorithm and pbk df2 is the password to key derivation algorithm and here we have used bin sky it is used for the conversion between the binary and sky and then secrets is used for generating the cryptographically random numbers that is suitable for managing data such as your passwords and your email accounts here we have taken four inputs from the user and then we will pass it into the list after that Here is our ZOR function in which ZOR algorithms converts the plain text into the format of ASCII bytes. ZOR algorithm is very fast and it is very easy to understand and analyze. ZOR algorithm is hard to crack by brute force method. Brute force method is basically generating random encryption keys to match with the correct one. ZOR algorithm is a symmetric algorithm in which we have used same key to both encrypt and decrypt a message. After that we have applied for loop. So if, if the data which will come in PNL1 then AES encryption will be executed and if it is in PNL2 that is name and email then we will execute our ZOR algorithm. So in AES encryption algorithm it derives 256 bit key using pbkdf2 which is used for key derivation algorithm. From the password here we have given the random password and then it uses the random password derivation salt which is a 128 bit and then this soul should be stored in the output after that the derived key consists of 64 hexadecimal digits which is of 32 bytes which represents 256 bit integer number and for the encryption we have generated 256 bit initial vector for AES CTR block mode and to perform AES 256 CTR encryption after that we have decrypted the data using AES CTR 256 algorithm in which the input consists of the encryption key and initial vector. If we run our program for example here I will write my name and then password and then email mobile number so you can see the result our AES encryption has successfully encrypted the data and ZOR algorithm also you can see the encryption key and the encrypted data It is the password which we have given and this is a mobile number and name so you can see it has successfully encrypted and decrypted the data thank you